Hi, this is Professor Abdul Samad from IIT Madras. I am teaching in the Department of Ocean Engineering from last several years. I teach basically uh, ocean engineering subjects plus petroleum engineering. Petroleum engineering basically the artificial lifting system or production systems. So whenever I'm talking about artificial lift, the course whatever I'm teaching 30 hours, the course will contain actually well bore little bit properties, fluid flow properties, different artificial lifting mechanism, how to connect all together and how to select artificial lift and how to design or how to buy an artificial for a specific well bore. And if you are working for artificial lift, you are production engineer and if production is changing because of a certain region, then what will happen? Whether same artificial lift can be useful for you or what is the failure rate? What is the failure possibilities? What is the design size? What is the design parameter you will consider? So all those things you will be knowing from this course. So I will start from this like reservoir fluid properties, reservoir drive mechanism, then multi-phase fluid properties, multi-component or emulsion fluid properties. Then I will try to discuss about different type of pumping mechanism. Pumping mechanism will contain different types of artificial lift. And the artificial lifts, uh, for example, saccharide pump or beam pump, ESP system, jet pump, then you will have gas lift system, you have progressive cavity pump. So although you have different options, but you cannot use all the pump in one well bore. So problem is that you have different fluid properties, different well bore properties. And if you want to use, let's say PCP. So PCP can be used for your well bore or your well bore needs actually PCP. So how to connect these two? How to know what different me mechanical behavior or pumping mechanism behavior, how to know the fluid property. So all the things will be there in this course. So if you learn this course in 30 hours, then actually you will have in-depth knowledge of selection, design and operations. When you are operating surface production, op uh, operating your pumping sy systems or artificial lifting system, that time actually if reservoir pressure is changing, your sand, more sand is coming or fluid gas liquid ratio is changing, then what will be the proper selection of artificial lift or whether the same pump will be working or is there any parameter you have to change so that pumping system will be working for longer duration. So all those things will be there in the course. So if you are thinking to join oil industry or you are working in the in the oil industry, so all you will get benefit from this course, especially engineering, undergrad student, chemical, mechanical, petroleum or relevant courses plus some master's courses uh, students also can get benefit from this course. Thank you very much.